Hey everybody, we're back with another How to Draw video. My name is Kendall Purser, and I am the writer and uh, illustrator of the webcomic Fall and Simon. And in this How to Draw series, I'm teaching you how to draw some of my characters from different works that I've done, different illustrations. Uh, today we're going to be drawing Sam from the Magic Word series. He is done in chibi style like the other characters in the series. So we will hop in here. Um, if you're following along at home, I'll try to make it a little bit easier. We've got a pencil and a pen and our different colors up at the top here that we're going to be using for this particular illustration. So we're going to hop into our pencil layer first. And that switch over to that lovely blue color. Now these are going to be very light pencil lines we're going to erase later uh, as we draw this. So keep that in mind as you're following along. Alright, so like most chibi characters, start with a circle for the head, rectangle for the body, and we draw a waistline. That's it. That's all your base construction lines. Everything else is uh, going to be more details on the character themselves. So we'll start with the face here. So we'll do side of the head, circle up this way. Um, he's wearing a wizard's hat. So with that brain like that, give him some hair, some eyes, and a nice big smile. Uh, for his hat, it's kind of a loopy cone shaped hat, not quite as pointed as uh, Pam's hat that we did last time. And then he has a star on his hat. So he's a wizard. So just very carefully do a nice little star there. Okay. And then for the rest of the body, he's wearing just a sash from the middle. No dangly stick uh and head. And then his arms are Rectangles with circles on the end, like that. And his feet, I do show quite a bit. Yeah. The books are done with him. Um, a little slightly wider, so look too spindly in there. There we go. That looked pretty good. So that's our base pencil drawing. Now we're gonna get a pen. And we're going to trace over the ones that we want to be the final lines. So I actually start with face, that's the most important part of the character. So we'll do each eye. Very carefully take your time as you do your pen layer, because that is your permanent drawing that you end up coloring on top of. So you can see it doesn't have to be perfectly on top of your pencil lines. It should be pretty close. Something like that. Down to his arms. His arms are kind of out from under his chin, which I know a little weird, but it's just part of the chibi style that the arms are pretty tight and tucked up on the body. Got his belt there. Moving down. That. And then his feet. Remember, we wanted it to be a little bit bigger, so we're going to use the Outer line here. Like that. There we go. That's a pretty good drawing of Sam. So now I'm going to go and erase my pencil lines, which on my computer you just hide the pencil layer. So we do that. Now we've done our pen layer. Now we need to do our color, which should be underneath 
there. Now, as you're coloring at home, you can use whatever you have, uh, crayons, colored pencils, uh, watercolor, if you've got some thick paper you're drawing on, <coughs> those will work. And we're going to go ahead and get him colored in here. So for that, I'm going to make the marker a little bit bigger, and then I've already got all my colors kind of pre-selected here. So let's start with start with the blue color. Let's get things. I'm going to pre-color some stuff in here. You guys can take your time. This is just to help you see what colors we're going to be using where. So we'll hold that. This going to be blue. And then the yellow color for his star. And he's kind of an older guy, so he's got this dark gray hair. I also use his bells. And then for the skin tone, we're actually going to use kind of this darker brown color. Yeah, that should be pretty close to the skin tone I have. Oh, and his boots. I always forget the boots. Same color as his hair and his belt. Okay, this kind of gives you an idea of where the colors are going to be. Now I'm going to zoom in and go ahead and finish this guy off here. So I like to start at the top, work my way down. So I actually do the star first because it'll be easier on the computer at least to get that colored in, and then I can go back over and very carefully do the blue color afterwards. That's a little tip if you're ever into digital artwork. So we're in here, so we can be nice and careful on all the edges. There we go. Pretty good here. Just kind of all colored in. I'm doing watercolor, this method of kind of splashing over the lines on the star can work if you let it dry in between. Nope, I wasn't careful on that one. Try that again. It's a little better. Um, <clears throat> watercolor can be very forgiving if you know what you're doing with it. So, come back to the trade there. Okay, just, ooh. Get some more brush for that one. There we go. All right, it's pretty good looking hat there. Let's go ahead and do his hair. So this is a kind of a color by number sort of stem, the um, way I use it anyway. Um, <clears throat> you can develop your own. If you want to, after you've learned the basic principles. You know, most people kind of watch other people do stuff and then they'll figure out their own way of making that work within their skill set. It's these tighter spots. We've got my smaller brush out. Let's see, I think it's going to be probably, probably this corner right here. That looks pretty good. We can get our bigger brush now. While we right there, it has to be a problem as well. 
All right, got a bigger brush. We're going to fill the rest of this pretty fast. Now, some of you are probably saying, you're on a computer. Why don't you just use the fill tool? Well, my experience with fill tools is they're not real great. They tend to leave little borders where um, it's a white artifact, I think it was called. And it just doesn't look as good as if you were to go in and use it like I'm, I'm using here more traditionally with you get your pen layer and you go in with color afterwards and pen shows through the color. So it's me taking a traditional method and applying it to digital, more modern method. And I think with a pretty good result by the time we're done here. I just a little bit. There's my eraser that is always our tension. There we go. Okay, moving on down. Do this arms and this body here. Cover. I guess I could have his hands first. Maybe with the skin tone. We got here. So the series that these pictures come from uh, the last couple of them, Ed, Pam, and Sam, is my Magic Words series, which is kind of an early reader. Uh, set of books. <clears throat> uses the adult sight words lists, and I try to use those words as often as I can to help young readers learn those sight words that they need to know when they're a little older. <clears throat> this is kind of what this series is about. And since the plotline things are really simple, I try to keep the illustrations pretty simple as well. Not to say that all chibi has to be simple. Um, you can actually do some really fun stuff with it, which I think once we finish up this series, I mean, move into some other things you can do. You could take Disney characters and do them in chibi style. We could do uh, characters from famous books. Things like that. So. We'll just play it by ear until we get the series on, and then we'll see what kind of other fun we can do. Okay, moving on to the belt. You can go pretty fast because it doesn't have many tough spots. We're going to change the brush size. Go. All right, bottom of the robes here. I'm going to go. That even there we go. Bulk of the man, we can go in and do our detailed edges here to keep everything nice and clean. So we don't have to redo anything. That is our preferred method to take care. <clears throat> so 
you can see I'm kind of starting back a little bit and I work towards the line until I figure out where the edge of my digital brush is. With a pencil and paper, it's a lot easier to do because just look where the edge of it is. With digital, you have to keep in mind those other aspects. How big is the paintbrush? And where's the edit actually going to be? Come up with one pretty well. There we go. All right. I think that's our finished illustration there. The Sam, he's the wizard in my series. He's only been in one book so far, but I plan to change that dramatically in a couple of books here. So. All right, hope you enjoyed that video and painting along with me or drawing along with me. We will catch you guys next time where we are going to draw a dragon. So that video is going to be a little bit longer because there really isn't a cheapy form for dragons. <laughs> so that one's going to take a little longer. We have more construction lines, but I'll try to still do it with about 20 minutes, which I think is most of these videos have been. So, um, so we'll the next drawing. We'll see you guys later, and I hope you go and draw something amazing.